Hey guys, it's Joanne here, and today I'm bringing you an exciting unboxing video. I have been waiting for this product for eons. I've actually went to their website. It's Too Faced, spoiler alert. Went to their website. I put, I put that I wanted to be text notified as to when this product became available. They have had these liquid latex lip products on the market for quite a while now, and they've always has announced, and they've teased us, that there was going to be a Unicorn Tears liquid latex. Uh, when I went to Ulta and Sephora, the displays for Too Faced, there was an empty spot where the Unicorn Tears would be. At one point in time, you could actually see to order on the website, but it would say out of stock or not available yet. So I put to get text notifications. They just texted me last week and said the Unicorn Tears are available. I, I immediately went to the website and bought my Unicorn Tears melted latex and I just got it. So we are going to unbox it here today. I am so excited to show you. So before we get too long, before I get any further into the video, I'm gonna rip this open. I'm gonna use a nail file just to rip it open. Oops. Okay. So, oh, how cute is this? They have an, a, it's, it's an awesome box. It says, you're so two-faced. <laughs> how funny is that? And let's see, what's this? Is this just my receipt? Yes, this is just my receipt. So I also got some samples with this. I also got a Born This Way foundation card, which I have yet to try that foundation yet. I got the Deluxe Better Than Sex Shorter um, Mascara as samples and then I got the the unicorn tears melted latex that I ordered so when you see here it comes all with this pink stuff let me just I'm just gonna move this pink stuff let's see let's do this in small let's do let's do this in slow-mo ready Let's see if I can get that in slow-mo for you guys. I'm gonna put this stuff, oh, now it's all over my floor. Lovely. Here, okay. I'm just trying to get everything out. Okay. Just making a mess. I should probably save that, right? Nah. I'm not gonna save it, we're just gonna toss it. So put the box away. And let's see what we have here. I got a card for 20% off my next purchase and I have a coupon code and that is from the 23rd to the 27th. So I'm gonna put this aside and see if I need anything else. Here is the Born This Way foundation card. So it gives me um, obviously three different three different samples. I'm always usually like the lightest one on the card. So we'll definitely try that. And here is the uh, Better Than Sex mascara. I love these sample size things. When I go to Sephora, I always look through the sample area because I like to use them, you know, in my purse for so that they don't take up a lot of room. How cute is that sample container? How cute is that? Love, love, love it. So, okay, without further ado, let's get to the Unicorn Tears. Are we ready? Ta oh, look at the packaging. Look at the Kodachrome on the box. Right? Like, how crazy is this? Okay, so let's open this up. Again, this is the Unicorn Tears Melted Latex. And if you're not at all familiar with the formula, <gasps> And look at it, it's actually unicornery. It's actually unicorny. Can you guys get that? If you're not familiar with the formulation, it is a it is a lot thicker. Uh, it's like a it looks like a gloss. I'll just show you. Oh, I'm not gonna open this one yet. Let me just show you with this pink one. So it comes in like a gloss stick. I'm showing you this pink one that I've had. Yeah, say that. And I'm just gonna show you this as far as the coverage and it goes on. Really thick and it stays. So when you, after you first put it on, 
it feels a little tacky at first until you kind of let it like dry. So it's supposed to stay put for a really long time. So again, this is a first impression video. If you guys want to see a follow-up video or see um, how this lasts like throughout the day, if I put it on the morning, like how long does it last before you have to reapply it, let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to do that for you. But what I wanted to do is a couple of things with this is I want to try this on alone and kind of give you my first impression of it, first of all. Number two, I want to compare it to the original Too Faced Unicorn Tears lipstick that you guys know from a ton of my videos that I am a big, big fan of. So I want to compare the consistencies, the formulas, um, the staying power, and the application of it. And then the last thing I want to do is I actually am going to apply it over another lipstick. We're going to go, I wanted to apply it over a nude. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna apply it over a nude that I have here, and we're gonna apply it over a mauve tone that I have here. So those are the things that we're gonna do. So let's just get right to testing this out, shall we? Okay, so here is the package again. I'm gonna open it up. And first, I'm gonna show you this, what it looks like. Okay. And I'm going to get my mirror out so I can see when I apply it. <gasps> can you guys see that? Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more. So the consistency is very similar to the pink one that I had done. Let me just swatch it for you so you can also see it on my hand. So there's what it looks like on the back of a hand. You can see how it sparkles. And I'm also going to swatch the original Unicorn Tears next to it. Okay. So this is the regular Melted Latex. This is the new Unicorn Tears Melted Latex. And this is the Unicorn Tears Original Lipstick. What I'm noticing with this formula is that the formula of the original Unicorn Tears is meant to kind of turn like a pinkish hue. So it goes on, that's kind of like the beauty of it. It goes on blue and then it changes to pink based upon the heat of your skin. And this one is staying more whitish blue. So it's still very shiny. I wonder if I can do half a lip. Let me see if I can do half a lip. I'm going to take off half. So now what I'm going to do is on this, on my left side, I'm going to put the Unicorn Tears lipstick. You definitely can see a difference on the right side is the Unicorn Tears Melted Latex. It has more of a whitish tint to it. And on the left side is the Unicorn Tears Original Lipstick that has the pink undertones to it. Definitely a difference in the two products. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to show you what it first looks like over a nude. So we're going to put this nude on. And this nude, by the way, is called, is an 983 Beige. It's a matte by, by Maybelline. Okay. So we have that, so we have that matte color on. Now we're going to put the unicorn tears on over it. So I kind of like what this does is it kind of gives you a nice little glisten, a nice little shimmer. It, I think it makes your lips pop. I really like the way this is enhancing over a lip, whereas this one, I just, I just use the regular lipstick 
standalone. So let me try one more. Let me try a mauve. This is my favorite go-to like mauve color, which is the Colormates Dark Pink Frost, my favorite go-to from the Dollar Tree. It's a Bach mauve. It's just pretty simple. Okay, so there's the mauve on. Now I'm gonna take the Unicorn Tears, melted latex. I keep on saying liquid latex, I know, ISRI. I am gonna have fun. I am really gonna like this product. I'm really gonna like playing with this product, especially over regular lipsticks. I think it really enhances them and really pops with them. That is it for my unboxing, my first impressions. What do you think? What do you guys think of the Too Faced Unicorn Terrors Melted Latex? Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried this yet? Do you have yours ordered? Are you interested in it? Let me know in the comments below. I am so excited to use my Unicorn Tears. <laughs> so that's it for my video today, guys. If you like these kind of review videos, unboxing videos, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Joanne. Nice to meet you. If you're new, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and then you will get notified as to when I upload videos and when I go live on YouTube. And of course, you can also follow me on all of my other social media, at Joanne Plans on Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, Twitter, and mus Musical.ly. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm gonna chat with you in my next video. Bye, guys.